the development of a solid growth plan with non-negotiables. And those non-negotiables come out of the process of understanding, in my particular case, as a hired gun and coming into a third generation family that had been in the business at that time, 80 plus years, was really understanding their vision and mission as the stakeholders of the company and what their cultural identity was. If I was gonna engineer a top line sales growth plan that was gonna be aggressive, it had to be aligned with what their core values were as a family. You know, I came to understand in my particular situation that they were all into organic growth and pursuing business opportunities, but they were not looking at the profitability of their customers when I first arrived. So this is my CFO prior to transitioning into the CEO side. From a non-organic or, or acquisition path, they were against acquisitions. They felt, you know, they were extremely risk averse when it came to that. So it was really important for me to understand those two elements as I went to engineer that top line strategy to grow. The second part of that is to really let the family know and, and continuously remind myself that there are many paths to, to, to growth and that it was important to maintain focus and discipline to the core values, lest you wander off that path and wander away from the core values and what the, the family was looking for. We committed to only contiguous growth. I was presented opportunities as we got in and got established with some brands. It was quickly offered thing, the opportunities to grow in the Southwestern United States and California. And while incredibly attractive and knew that they would bring great headline to the company, we weren't structured nor prepared for site growth. And so we always stuck to making sure any growth we did was contiguous growth outward from the Northeastern United States. So that was critically important for us when, when you look at that, the fact that there's so many ways you can grow, but you need to be disciplined in how you apply it.